Oh my god. Oh my god. What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today we got a fun one. We're out here fishing with Justin in a new area of town we don't hit often. And uh, we're dedicating this video entirely to the Shimano Tranks and the new Citizen 7. We just got this thing rigged up with a 10 aught owner beast hook. We say if we can't catch a giant today, we've had a great morning. We've already caught about 10 fish and we're gonna go for that big one. So we're just gonna walk the banks. They seem to be uh, hugging that wall around this place. See if we can't catch a big old fish for you guys today on a bait I have never thrown. Let's go ahead and get into it. First few cast guys trying to get up in and around that dock right there. Rocking the green pumpkin. Crazy man. Just an insane kick. Got that uh, owner hook right there on the top. Fits in that little pocket right there. These have got the chaos air chamber. Mike says whenever he creates these things, check this out. Collapsible. That way that bait really drops down whenever they go for that. Whenever they go for the bite, boom. That's going to just collapse down. Make sure they get that hook psyched to try and catch fish on this thing man yeah I, I, almost like 10 bass so far i was gonna say there's some big fish out here yeah that's why i, saw, no I switched up to a big bait <laughs> have a good one thank you how's it going man good how are you Pretty good. Pretty good. whoa got some yeah dude justin's on nice yes Let me let that sink for a second. Yeah, was, uh, Dude, there you go. It was an interesting bite. I thought I was snagged. Two actually. plus. I saw that. Look at that structure. Yeah, I tried, I tried. I hear whenever you hit, you know, structure, you want to stop it for a second. Like if, yeah. you, if you feel, maybe not just bottom, because then you're cruising along. But like if you were, you know, maybe you're not hitting rock and then all of a sudden you do hit something, we just leave it there for a second. Yeah, I've always heard uh, they say your bites will come when they hit something. They, 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 Deflecting they, off that cover. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, oh he's got him. That's number two. That's two casts in a row. Red crank. Hunting for the bigs. A little bit smaller. Nice, dude. Not as big, but back go. Boom. Oh, he went right under that, too. That's funny. Good one. <laughs> Justin's on his third fish. Dude, that's a chunk. Yo, let me see this thing. You want a scale? Yeah. 3.08, okay. Okay, that was wrong. I knew it was a three something, though. Biggest one so far. He'll get him back in the water. And he's three to my zero, but we are throwing that working class zero bait right now, looking for the big. Along the wall? Yeah, right along the wall. And how about your last one? It's, it was a little ways off, about 10 feet off. Okay. The red is killing it. The red yeah. filters through. Yeah, I'm thinking if I had brought that swim jig over here, I'd just be raking them up. I'm not sure, dude. He, uh, oh my God. A five pounder just came up and munched it. I'm not sure to hear. <laughs> my god. He just nibbled it. Oh my god. Holy hell. He saw me. That was insane. Now my heart is racing out of nowhere. I've been fishing this thing for 45 minutes. Just like going through the rhythms. Whoa. Oh, my biggest problem fishing this thing, you guys, is when I get a bite wanting to set the hook right away and all the big swim bait guys I'm listening to and watching that are really just diligent and throwing nothing but big swim baits you don't want to set the hook right away man you, you feel that tick you feel that little and all you want to do is start cranking real quick and get the weight of that fish feel the weight of that fish once the rod almost starts loading up is really when you want to start setting it from all that I have heard man reeling down before I just set the hook give that fish a chance to actually eat this bait before you go crazy on that hook set and make sure they've actually got it. I'm gonna hit him from the other angle. There's definitely one along this wall that's interested in it, guys, but I gotta like, I gotta surprise him. The fish keeps swimming by him that way, and by fish, I mean my bait. I'm gonna bring him back this way, see if it makes a difference. There we go. Oh my god oh my god we got him we got him oh first fish on the seven bro first fish on the seven yes <laughs> yes <laughs> no way first fish on the seven 
It's not even that big, dude. <laughs> I thought it was a big. Oh my god, he choked it. He choked it. <laughs> Let me save that clip real quick. On the Simpsons. Oh my lord, look at this. Look, look at, at this. Oh god, that hook had him good. Whoa. Oh, nuts, dude. Insane. I don't know if y'all have seen this over on Justin's channel, but it's a working class zero, Citizen 7. What a catch. Had to get some pictures of that. That was just insane. Heck yes. <laughs> it's definitely like, it looks like a spawned out female compared to all these fatties. Freaking Justin's catching all the fatties. I bet you this one is like just two pounds and a... Uh, it's got some length. I bet you it's two and a half, but it's not, it's not hitting three pounds for sure. Bloody tail. Let's let her get back. First ever catch, dude. Woo! All right, we got to take the GoPro off for that. I left the big camera in the truck. This is worth talking about, though. <laughs> Guys, that was crazy catching that fish. We worked it on that. I knew I was getting hits, man. I knew I had her interested. Anyways, first ever catch on the Working Class Zero Citizen 7. This is the larger one. You've seen Devin and I now catch them on the sixes. First time rigging this up, and I was just trying to remain patient, dude. Justin's over here catching fish, catching fish, catching fish. He's throwing a crankbait. I know the bite's good today. They're hitting, they're chasing, and I said, look, don't go back to the truck to get the swim jig. Don't go back to the truck to get to the swim jig. You have to stay consistent here. And so I'm just cruising, steady retrieve, occasional reel pops, and I'm definitely winding real quick if I feel any sort of structure, bite, anything. Whether I just hit a little twig, hit some grass, did this, that, and the other. If I feel any resistance, cranking down. That time I got that hit and I wasn't quick to set the hook, I kept cranking, then boom! And when I set that hook, I just assumed I had that five pounder that chased it. That was on the Tranks 400 HG, the high gear, which comes with that power handle. In case you guys were wanting to check that thing out, I'm gonna have all this stuff linked down in the description below. Unfortunately, the working class zeros have sold out and they sell out so fast. So whenever these things become available, follow me on Instagram. I post on my story and make main page posts about when these things are dropping and you'll go ahead and be the first to know because like I say, this, this specific bait, the Citizen 7 and Green Pumpkin sold out in four minutes. I barely got through the checkout. So you have to get a hold of some of these, but the thing is they're so popular, such a high demand, such an amazing following. Mike Gilbert, the guy who makes these, hand pours them, puts the eyes on all, and everything is done by him. Just a beast mode OG swim bait fisherman. Uh, he only comes out with limited runs every once in a while. And then uh, I think next it might be a drop of the Battle Shad, which is what we want to get as well. But I know next time he drops more citizens, we're scooping him up, man, by the truckload. Let's go ahead and get this thing back in the water. Pumped. GoPro footage, man. Big cameras in the truck. What can you do? What a day. So calm right now. This is just after a storm rolled through earlier this morning. You guys might have caught that video. And, uh, dude, the bite is still, still here. Oh, wow. Felt a little resistance, but that was nothing. Just hit the bottom there. Oh, I need to angle this back down. I want you guys to be able to see how I work this reel. I did also check my line. Uh, I'm using 25 pound fluorocarbon straight, but I did also check the line and make sure it wasn't frayed from that bass's teeth. And we're feeling pretty good. So confident I can get another fish on this thing. Check this out guys. Just had my first ever post hit uh, 6,000 likes organically. Normally I get like, you know, 3,000 on the top end. I'm gonna definitely promote this. I'm gonna view my insights real quick. And you can see I've gained 61 new followers off this post. So I know if I put money behind it, I would gain probably 120 total. Uh, if I put like 20 or $30 behind it, do kind of like my typical. Just uh, throwing that out there in case you guys want to promote your posts and help grow your page. If you have a post that takes off or even does better than the usual, check your insights tab and uh, make sure you put a little cash behind those. Not catch anything over here? I'm up to about 10 and my buddy's got, I think three or four now. I was throwing some uh, smaller stuff earlier. Yeah. But I switched over to this and just got my first one ever on this thing. Guy makes some custom out of California. So I'm out here having fun. <laughs> There's an app called Fish Brain, and it's just like almost looks like a Google Google Maps layout. Yeah. And it shows pinpoints of where people are catching fish and you can see their pics of the catches. And a lot of times they'll show what bait they're using. And so you can really like have confidence fishing a new spot that uh, you've never even been to before. And so I use that a lot to try and find places to fish. I just kind of uh, open that up. Look at the area I'm in and see what's going on. I have some baits here that I could give you if you you want a couple crawls. Yeah, you got to. This is what was catching them earlier. All right, we're gonna move on past this bridge and see what else is over here. I would, uh, I think more people are at home with the quarantine. I think you just need to upload every day. I think it's a matter of so many factors. I don't think the day matters as much as you think. 
Just the bait. <laughs> I scared that couple. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw it. When I pulled the bait out of the water, they thought it was a fish. Dude, this thing is so big. People think that this is a fish that you just caught. Yeah, the kids that have been walking by us have just been thinking that this is a fish I caught. Uh, it's pretty It's pretty funny. And then, like, especially when this thing spanks the water as soon as you cast it out. Dude, I've gotten just a new time or two today, I think. <laughs> it's just funny, man. Big old bait with this beast owner hook. I want to say the seven is two and a half ounces, and then the hook is a half ounce. Uh, I might be wrong. Yeah, it's something like that. Got him. Got him. In the grass. Oh. How big was it? Four. Shit. I was flipping him up. Barely hooked. <sighs> that was so prime. I had just pointed out grass and I knew. I just knew. It's the first, first bit of grass like that I've seen this whole day. And I swam him right through there. I felt the tick and I waited it out. He swam out a little bit set the hook oh that one that one's almost depressing that was very cool very cool Whew. okay it wasn't a 10 we need something bigger probably one more cast and then i've worn the spot out i'm gonna let it sink a little bit and i'm gonna bring it through the outside uh i sifted right through the middle of that first cast that was just textbook yeah, uh, my buddy and I have caught almost like a ten a piece today. Oh, really? Yeah, bass, largemouth bass is what we're going for. Stay right there. Oh yeah. Oh oh oh! Did you see that? Did you see that? Yeah. What just happened? I just got hit whopper plopper style. No 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 no! I just didn't I didn't get a good hook. So I didn't know what was going on. I didn't even understand that. I didn't see how big it was. I saw his belly. Whoa! What a bait, dude. This thing's crazy. That, that is a beast. All right, next like, time you sell something, I'll definitely get it. Fuck. I'll hit it from the opposite side. Hmm. I was really expecting one there, to be honest. Well, we have walked a significant amount of bank, y'all. I think we might have to uh, take it back to the truck. I'm going to meet up with Devin here in a little bit and hit another pond before we call it. All right, man, what started off kind of dark and just after a storm had passed is now bright and sunny and have me want the sunscreen. Definitely huge shout out to Justin. I'm gonna go ahead and link him down in the description. You guys gotta check him out. We had a blast. Thank you for inviting me out today, dude, but then also uh, catching more than half the fish in this vlog. So far, so far. We're making a move. I'm gonna go fish with Devin for a little bit before we grab some dinner. So you guys got a lot to look forward to. We'll catch you over at the next spot. We hit it recently. See you there. All right, went home, got Devin, changed into a sun shirt because it's getting a little toasty out now. Uh, in fact, what is the temperature? 78, yeah, it's about 80 degrees, man. 4.51 in the afternoon now on this beautiful Sunday evening. Let's go ahead and get some lines in the water. Pond you've seen in a recent video, but also we haven't caught any fish at yet. Looks juicy, let's give it another whirl. This could get good, y'all, this could get good. Chef Bad Bass is here, we're meeting up with him. Chef hasn't seen these yet. Let me show you this thing here. thing over you can you can just you can oh. oh look at that look at that look at that oh yeah look at that oh my god dude Weston two, two followers two followers two big ones get the fuck out of here two dude. big ones <laughs> we gotta get more on the next drop dude Devin I mean did you see it come up and bite it Oh, someone's swimming with it. What is that? That might be the big one. That might be the big one. I think that might be it. No way, it's big, Devin. Get that thing out of there. Get that thing out of there. Ooh, oh, it's not that big. That's not big. <laughs> well, it's big. That's a big bass. That's a big bass. <laughs> no, no crap. Sick catch, guys. Weston just had a follower on that Citizen 7 right here on this drain. And uh, I had the Kraken crawl, so I went ahead and I just tossed it in. Not even, I don't even know what, it was in there for like 
five seconds. It was right off the bat. I maybe popped it like two or three times. And then I felt the hit and I saw my line swim and I let it go ahead and have it for a good minute. because so I wanted to make sure it had it. Good deal, first fish out of the pond. Sick guys, sick guys. Let's go ahead and put it on the scale. Let's just see what the heck this guy weighs. Right at two and a half, 2.49. This looks like a spawned out female. First catch out of the pond, one last look. Ooh. Looks bigger than a two and a half, my goodness. All right, there was a big fish in here earlier. Just so I won't be curious anymore, I saw a big one wake in this corner earlier and the swim bait is picking up a lot of grass in certain areas that I would like to hit. I'm gonna whip the grass here up through here. Let me go get that thing. On the swim jig, there we go. Whew, well, kind of defeats the purpose of wanting to throw that swim bait all day, but I just had to feed that curiosity. I knew there was some fish over here in this corner. Get out of here, this is a swim bait plug. Technically the saucy swimmer is a swim bait, but. Oh, huge fish, huge fish. Holy shit. He's still on it. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I gotta turn it around. Yeah. Pop it down so I faster. Is he doing good? He's still on it. Come on. Oh my god, what the fuck? He's got it. He's got it! He was tugging. Uh, yeah, but they uh, how big do you think it was? Four. Four. <laughs> All right, guys, we're packing up. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Tons of fun with the new working class zero baits. And also, we were all over town today. It was a blast, man, but we got to get home. It's, it'd be nice to fish till sunset. Shoot, we could probably get a third video in today, Top Water Madness. But filming all these videos, I have to also be thinking about editing and time and posting and thinking of titles and thumbnails and all this other stuff, man. So I hope you guys are enjoying this one a day thing. We're gonna try and keep it up for as long as possible. Maybe I've already missed a day by the time this video gets posted or maybe I've been just cranking them out. But thank you guys and I appreciate all the new subscribers. Y'all are jumping on like crazy. It is amazing the growth that the channel's having right now. So I just wanna thank you guys so much if you made it till the end of the video. You never know when these videos might get hype at the last second. Always stick around and stay tuned for the ending. See ya. <gasps>